My name is Mickey Moore. Uh, I'm a senior communications officer. I work in a team of people um, as part of the corporate uh, comms team. My role particularly um, deals with um, vulnerability. So I support the teams in the force that uh, look to protect uh, vulnerable people. In corporate comms, there isn't really a typical day. Uh, no two days are the same, if I'm honest. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I might come in in the morning and need to write something for Forcenet um, that, that um, is informing um, force personnel about something in particular. A little later on in the day, I may be briefing a journalist. A little later on, um, I could well be um, in a meeting and talking to communications colleagues in other organisations. So, as I say, no two days are the same. Corporate comms team is um, a team that has got um, different skills in it. So we've got some people within the team that have specialist areas. We've got um, an individual in our team that looks after our website. We have a social media lead. Um, we also have our news team that are basically answering all media inquiries that come into the force. I talked earlier about the fact that we work in partnership um, very often, and particularly in the role that I have um, around vulnerability. Um, and this year I was tasked with uh, supporting our local safeguarding children's partnership um, to develop a film around um, child exploitation. Um, it's such an important topic and uh, an area where we need to make sure that people fully understand um, what child exploitation is. With the marketing colleagues in our team, we developed um, a film and we had actors and locations and um, we developed a storyboard and worked with a production company. Um, so it was really exciting to be a part of that and tell the story that we need to tell to people in order to, to protect youngsters and children. Um, that was a, a standout moment for me. I'm really, really proud of the product that we developed. I suppose in the role that I have, we're not frontline police officers, um, but actually we do have the privilege of talking to victims of crime. Um, I've very recently interviewed um, a couple of victims of domestic abuse on camera, which is really brave of them to do so. Um, so you have to really think about teasing out the questions so that we're telling a story because we want to use those videos to help police officers um, understand what it's like from a victim's perspective um, but also make sure that we're telling the victim's story in a really sensitive way um, and that can be a little bit of a challenge but it's a real privilege to listen to people's stories and understand what they've gone through. Um, and how brave they are coming forward. And I think in comms, um, because we're privy to so much information, I think one of the things for me is actually we see the worst of humanity and what people do to each other. But also on the other side, we see the best of humanity and the bravery and um, the kindness um, that's out there as well. So we get to see both sides of that.